This morning, we've been joined by Dr. Kelvin Owusu, Head Occupational Health and Wellness, Claren Health International. And we are looking at vaginal dryness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doctor. Prima. So a week from today mm -hmm. will be Valentine's Day. Yes. And it's going to go down it real is. hard. It is. Charlie, some of the packages flying around, it's, it's, it's juicy, Ankasa. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it's going to go down. <laughs> but after all is said and done, mm -hmm. it comes to one thing. <laughs> very, less. very important thing. <laughs> so people have given all kinds of no. Um, no. explanations no. for Valentine. Oh, no. it's for so loved no. ones, it's for this. Look, Valentine for me is for lovers. So you can show love to your friends, your family, family. everybody mm -hmm. during Christmas mm -hmm. on their birthdays. I mean, sometimes yeah. on a normal same full day, we can decide to show love. Prima. But when it comes to Valentine, Prima. for me, yes, David. I want to ask Dr. Kelvin. <laughs> He's all yours. <laughs> Dr. Kelvin, yes, yes, why yes, is David. this even a conversation for us to have when there's lubricant in the shop? <laughs> okay, so let's let's start a conversation from the, from the Valentine angle. So in that respect, yeah. lubricants would definitely help. In fact, I mean, the commonest um, um, for premenopausal women, one of the commonest causes of vaginal dryness is that you are just not that into it. Mm. Yeah. You know, like you're not feeling the, the, the vibe. vibe. But it's not... normal, isn't it? Yes, it's a normal occurrence. Because, okay. you know, um, for, for a woman, mm -hmm. sex for a woman is more of a, it's, it's more psychological than yes. it is physical. Yes. Even though, of course, physical is also part of the whole thing. But for, for a woman, it, it starts in the mind. So, typical example, if, if, if you, have, you have annoyed the woman and then you are trying to sort of, you know, um, engage her, you Forget know, make it. out. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Mm. Yeah. You know, and even mm. if you did go beyond that stage, so long as she hasn't forgiven you, mm. um, when they, it comes to the actual act of penetration, there's going to be resistance, and that's where the dryness comes in. You know, so in that respect, I mean, lube will definitely help. You know, it will make it will make a huge difference. It has to be water-based lubricant. You know, so I mean, you have to be you have to read the instructions and then make sure that it's water-based lubricant because sometimes it can cause problems. Mm. Now. Um, no, I was going to ask something. So, um, when you put psychological issues mm -hmm. aside, you know, yes. as a woman, mm -hmm. what would cause? So, for instance, uh, nobody has annoyed me, but I realize <laughs> that, you know, I'm happy, but I realize that I'm experiencing okay. dryness. Mm -hmm. What would on a normal day cause this? Can it be a sickness? Can it be something else? Maybe how we are wired as women. So I did mention a premenopausal yeah. women. Mm -hmm. So the commonest cause of dryness is actually menopause. Okay. You know, so so and, and vaginal dryness is one of the first um, experiences that women would go through when they mm -hmm. reach the age of menopause. So so uh, um, uh, you know menopausal ages mm -hmm. vary. It varies. So let's say that between the ages of this and that, you are likely to experience this. So mm -hmm. typically, um, beyond the age of forty-five you know, most women will begin to experience the symptoms of menopause, such as irregular periods, mm. you know, um, the vaginal dryness. And the interesting thing is that the vagina is actually one of the first places to experience the menopausal symptoms. Okay. Basically, menopause is a stage in life of a woman when estrogen begins to um, go away. You know, estrogen, the, the woman is no longer, ha, no longer has the capacity to, to, to give birth again because estrogen levels begin to drop yeah. and eventually estrogen ceases, mm -hmm. you know, and the vaginal um, cells are one of the first to feel this change, you know, and so whereas normally there would have been a film of, of secretions, you know, sort of protecting the vagina or mm. keeping, uh, keeping things going in and out, because estrogen is no longer um, in the game, that is lost. Mm -hmm. mm. And then on top of that, this same estrogen would usually maintain the cells of the vagina. Now, because there's no estrogen, the cells begin to atrophy. Okay. When we say atrophy, the cells begin to die off, okay. you know, so the vagina literally begins to thin out. Mm. You know, and it, it has been described as the skin be, I mean, behind your palms. Okay. You know, so it actually becomes, becomes so thin that the slightest problem can actually cause a, a oh. breakage. So typically women, postmenopausal women, can actually re report spotting after having sexual intercourse. Okay. You know, because of the friction. Mm. You see, because the lubricants mm. or the lubrication would have reduced the friction. Yeah. And then there, there would have been pleasure. But now that lubrication is missing. Okay. Yeah, so then, so that when we talk about vaginal dryness, typically we're actually referring to that category of people because then it's a, it's a more serious condition. Because if it's just that you are upset with the, with the, with the man, that one, I mean, we can, we can talk about it, we can deal with it. <laughs> okay, so if, so if I'm not 45, mm -hmm. so if, if I am experiencing something like this and I'm not upset with anybody, what does that mean? <laughs> so it could mean that, like I said, your estrogen levels have started declining. Okay. So you are getting into the men. So menopause is so when, when it stops. 
Yes, so menopause is when it stops. Yeah. Uh -huh. So premenopause is when it is stopping. Okay. And then postmenopause. So perimenopause is pre and post. Okay, so that's together. Mm -hmm. together. Okay, so that's that, perimenopause. Okay. You okay. know, so when, when it begins to stop. So like I said, the age is not, there's no one age where it happens. Mm -hmm. Some women can go all the way up to 50 and they are still having their normal period. Some go 51 and then they now start experiencing the symptoms. Some also start much earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've encountered a 30, 35 year old who had actually began going through through wow. that yes it's hey. a it's a familiar <laughs> it's a familiar thing so okay. i mean you, you look to your mom if your mom had her had menopause yeah. around let's say 45 mm -hmm. typically you are also going to experience similar so you know it kind of kind of runs in the families mm -hmm. of course there are there are ways of dealing with dealing with it and it's very important unfortunately most women do not report this this situation this whole vaginal dryness um to their doctors and so they they, they endure mm -hmm. you see because at that point it's not just enough to use the water-based lubricants i mentioned because mm -hmm. uh, what happens is if it's a premenopausal woman i mean young fertile woman when i mean if if she, you you use the, the gel the body's natural mechanism usually will take over mm -hmm. after yeah. some point but here is the case there's no mechanism to take over mm -hmm. so if you use the gel the jaw will dry at some point. You have to keep exactly. Applying. I mean, and who is really going to stop and apply another button? David? Mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't continue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so so it becomes it becomes a real a real issue. You mm. see, and so and so we, mm. <laughs> you need to you, you need to. I mean, it's it's a very uncomfortable subject to, to talk about. But I mean, that's what we doctors we are there for. Exactly. It. You see, so please, I mean, you know, open up and let us know because there are ways of helping. Okay. You know, so, yeah. so tell us the ways, you know, well, um, mm -hmm. we know that the loops are there, but yes. beyond that... So beyond what? that, I mean, I did mention that it's an estrogen issue. I mean, yeah. it's a natural stage in every woman's life. Estrogen will stop at mm. a point. And if estrogen does not actually stop, then your risk of breast cancer and other cancer actually begins to go up. Mm. So estrogen will definitely stop at some point. Mm. Now, when the estrogen stops and you are going through this menopausal symptoms and you do yeah. report it, there are topical creams that can be prescribed for you that can be applied. I mean, initially, uh, you probably apply it. I mean, there's a routine to apply it, but um, after some time, you may only use it like once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. so it's something that needs to be, you know, um, you need to talk about it so that we can give you the right help. And these creams are applied when I say topical, it's only for the area in question, mm. which is the, the vagina, the mucosa. So they are not lubricants? They are not considered lubricants. These are actually hormone replacements. Okay. But where, um, you know, you are taking a hormone replacement by mouth, we don't want you to do that because estrogen prolonged exposure can give you, put you at risk of breast cancer especially. Okay. So we don't want you to take um, ah, hormone replace, okay. replacements by mouth. Uh -huh. So they have, the, the, you know, there are topical creams that can be applied to the vagina mm -hmm. and can actually actually help you overcome the dryness that you experience because this is not just a, a, an ordinary lube that you can just mm. grab from okay so, so let, let, let me ask this quickly has um vaginal dryness mm -hmm. got anything to do with libido issues um so obviously i mean if, if you were to if you were to have sex and you it's painful i mean you have you have burns and then now you're even bleeding would you want to have sex again no. so it does lead to a low libido or a, i mean a refusal to, to have sex mm. so yes i mean there is a connection but having said that there's also i mean once you reach menopause basically a lot of things dial down mm. you know so even the edge assuming the vaginal dryness was not so bad the, mm -hmm. the desire to have sex you, see, you have to understand that let's let's put it this, this way you have to understand that the whole act of sex the um, evolution of sex mm -hmm. is aimed at one thing which is procreation yeah so now if there's no procreation mm. then the motivation to have sex is no longer there okay. so that's if, if you come from that that point of view then you, you understand why libido issues go so down naturally, naturally your system will help you even even in that. men even in men when you reach a certain point yeah your libido actually comes down uh -huh. but not to the uh, same um, degree as the, that happens in women. Mm. There's a lady, there's a lady Shannis, in um, Ablikuma asking this question. What about a woman who is just in her 20s experiencing dryness? Okay, so there are other um, causes of vaginal dryness. Mm -hmm. It could be a hormonal imbalance, you see. I, I mean, and it's, it's still the same estrogen. So mm -hmm. if any woman is experiencing vaginal dryness, mm. especially if the, no man is upsetting her, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just, it's just not happening. <laughs> you need to come in for a conversation so that we can, we know exactly how we can help you. Okay. Okay. See, but just understand that we, it, once we can identify where the problem is coming from, then we can yeah. help you. And it, it, it's not about hearsay because some, sometimes a lot of women depend more on their... Um, friends mm. and you know yeah. sharing stories around exactly and that typically does not help because they end up spending a lot of 
money, wasting a lot of time doing various home remedies that really don't help. Mm. You see, so come in, let's analyze the situation. If it's a simple hormonal imbalance, what is causing this hormonal imbalance? Because yes, there are, I mean, there are so many products out there on the market that um, they say helps with this issue. Yeah. But most of them are treating the symptom. What's the cause? Mm. Mm. You see, we okay. need to find the cause, deal with that cause, so that we can, I mean, it, it overcome it once and for all. Doc, how yes. do people get in touch with you? Well, I'm quite active on social media, Kelvin Osu MD, on all channels. And it's then you can active. also. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like active, <laughs> active guys. <laughs> Well, Valentine is coming, so we have to work on the activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, you yeah. need it. No, can exercise help in any way? Yes, exercise. I was, I, I, Even for a woman? Yes, for yeah. a woman. Okay. Especially for a woman. You see, exercise actually helps with hormone, yeah. hormone issues. Workout. It helps with mm -hmm. mood. Mm -hmm. it, it, it helps with, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the happy hormone. I mean, the name has yes. just escaped. Endorphins. From endorphins, endorphins. Yeah. yes. Yeah. You know, so if you exercise, you tend to in improve your sex drive. Okay. You know, and, and this actually cuts across whether you are premenopausal, postmenopausal. You know, so once you're active, it, it definitely helps you. So okay. by all means, exercise. So it's <laughs> not always the so. case that, you know, if your woman is dry or not showing a lot of signs, mm. maybe they're getting it somewhere else or <laughs> exactly. something wrong. It could really be med medicinal. You know, it could be biological issues and all. So just understand the issues as well and relax more for us. <laughs> Continue. Hey, yes. 